Hello, I'm back again. Actually, it has been many months since filming the first episode. It was in the beginning of summer, I think, uh, when I filmed the episode about the condition of the bike. At the moment, it's October already, but <laughs> it is what it is. I just have done uh, many client works and uh, I haven't had time to work on my own bike. Finally, the time has arrived and I can continue with the project. So what do we know so far? Uh, I know that the engine is running, the electronics seem to be okay. The only problems with the bike are optical, some damaged parts, uh, scratched parts, suspension is leaking and so on. The levers are broken, for example, but these are all minor, minor problems for me because I will I will take the bike anyway totally apart, lay it on the floor, choose the parts that need to be replaced, uh, repainted. Everything will be like brand new at the end. And if everything is ready, then I will throw the bike back together. I will anyway have new wheels, new suspension, new brakes, new exhaust system, new paint, new tuning parts all over the place, new seat. The current situation uh, where electronically and mechanically everything seems to be okay, but optical is ugly. It's, it seems kind of perfect for me. But uh, I think let's not waste no more time. And I will, I will start to disassemble the bike. My plan for today is to take everything totally apart. And then I can see uh, what is actually waiting ahead. And in the next episode I will I will uh, probably introduce you the design and the tuning parts, but at the moment, let's start taking this thing apart. So let's start with the fuel tank. Disconnect all the hoses and wires. Tank itself comes off pretty easily. Now let's move on to the rear parts. Take off the rear plastics. Let's remove all the clip nuts and screws. Let's get them back so that I can find the right ones later when I'm assembling the bike. Now I will loosen the rear under seat parts. Take off the lights and the electronics there. Also, let's remove the rear wheel. It opens up much space and it's easier to access other parts. So, taking off the rear mod card and the rear plate holder. Now let's loosen the rear suspension pressure tank to get access to some exhaust bolts. And on the left side, I need to remove the lower panel to access front header nuts. There's quite much dirt in the lower panel section, it needs to be cleaned. Some nasty oil and sand mix is there. And if the panels are off, then there is not much space to work on the header tube nuts, so it's quite tight fit. But once the header is loosened, then the exhaust comes off pretty easily. So it's quite a big fight with the exhaust all the time, but finally removed it. Exhaust, rear wheel, tank and rear end is off now. Parts are here. As you can see, the fuel tank has quite a big dent on the left side. The lower panels are really nasty and lots of cleaning needs to be done. This super cool exhaust is here. Situation is like this at the moment. As you can see, quite dirty, quite dirty, but yeah, everything will be like new again. Okay, I will continue. So, let's clean some tools and start working on the front end. First thing is to remove front mod card and then let's bleed the brake system. If the fluid is out, then we can remove the calipers and if the calipers are removed, then we can take off the front wheel. Let's lift up the bike a little bit and let's loosen the triple clamp bolts to slide out the suspension tubes. You have to be super careful there because it's easy to scratch the tubes. As the suspension tubes are anodized then it's quite complicated to get them fixed when you scratch them so better to be super careful. If the suspension tubes are out then I'm removing the risers and the instrument cluster. Triple clamps can be removed now and entire front end is gone. So, now the fork and handlebar is removed. As you can see, really dirty here. So here is the leaking fork. 
handlebar, electronical stuff. Well, as you can see, this thing is broken. I have a new one. Uh, I have a new line for the clutch. But uh, yep, I will clean it up a little bit and continue now. I'm uh, trying to take the frame off now. For starters, I loosen some of the bolts that hold together the rear suspension system. I will take off the cap from the airbox also to see how's the filter inside. I lift the bike a little bit more to get better access. And just to be sure that all is stable, I will secure the bike with a strap. Now I can take out the rear suspension and after that I can continue to take apart the rear section of the frame. So again, tools all over the place, rear frame, suspension parts, engine covers, some parts added here too. And now I have to take this airbox out. Airbox is quite a tricky part. We have very limited access from all angles, lots of clamps, hoses. It's really, really tight fit. And once the airbox is out, then the main frame removal is not so hard anymore. You just have to make sure that you don't damage any of the wiring or lines when ripping the frame out. I won the boxing match between me and the frame. Uh, <laughs> I was looking uh, through some videos uh, that I have uh, shot and well, looking at my colors then <laughs> it looks like the frame and, and Indiana Jones had a big fight. Anyway, uh, Indiana Jones won. Uh, frame is off, lots of wires, lots of hoses, parts are laying around, tools are laying around, screws are laying around. Uh, I have to remove the swing arm also, but uh, for that I need to make the engine stable somehow. At the moment the swing arm with the rear stand is holding the bike straight. Actually, little change of plans. It's almost 10 o'clock, so quite long day today. I thought I will finish. So I cleaned up all the, all the tools and stuff. But the swing arm is still attached. I need a special tool to loosen the belt. And I think I will continue with it tomorrow. Progress looks like this. Not bad, but always room for improvements. I think that's, that's enough for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.